just when you thought you were recovering from the four and six month sleep regression, before you know it, you're rolling into the eight month sleep regression. You're wondering, where did that time go? Today, I'm going to share signs of the eight month old sleep regression, what are the causes and four tips to help get you and your little one through. Make sure to stay until the end of this video to know how to access our free PDF download covering all sleep regressions for the first two years of your little one's life to help you navigate through them. Hi there, I'm Kat, a pediatric sleep consultant from Baby Sleep Team, and I'm here to get your baby or toddler sleeping well. Has your little one been sleeping relatively well, but now suddenly their sleep seems to have gone backwards? Or maybe they haven't ever been a great sleeper and it seems to be getting worse? The eight month old sleep regression can be exhausting and it's commonly experienced by families between eight to 10 months of age. Unlike the four month sleep regression, which is a permanent change in your baby's sleeping patterns, the eight month regression, like the other regressions, is temporary and it should only last around two to six weeks. So what are some signs of the eight month old sleep regression? More wakes at night, difficulty falling asleep either at bedtime or after waking at night, fussiness or crying, or short naps. Your little one is growing at a rapid pace at this age and these developments can cause major disruption in their sleep. So what are the main causes? Physical milestones. Your baby is going through another developmental leap. During this age, many babies are learning how to crawl and to pull themselves up to stand. When babies go through physical milestones, they are trying to master these new skills. So it's no surprise that standing in their crib can disturb their sleep. Language development. Your child is understanding more and more every day. Their little brains are absorbing so much, piecing information together and learning new things. When they have busy minds, this can also disrupt their sleep. A schedule change. Your baby's sleep schedule may need to change. If your little one is on three naps, by this age it will be time to drop down to two naps. This is the third cat nap of the day and it can be disruptive for some babies through this transition. Separation anxiety. This can peak when your little one is going through lots of changes. As a result, they may be looking for extra comfort and for you to be close by to help them through it. Teething. Sometimes this can be uncomfortable for your little one, leading to fussiness, but any discomfort from teething is usually short-lived. Hunger. Your little one is on the move and you may find they have an increased appetite. This can translate into more wakes at night due to hunger. Not all babies show signs of going through the eight month old sleep regression. Tell us in the comments below any signs that your little one is currently experiencing. So now that we know the possible causes, here are my four tips. Tip number one, transition to two naps if your baby is currently on three naps. Ideally, you are following a short, long, short nap schedule, which will help to drop the third nap. You want to aim for the lunchtime nap to be the longest nap of the day, and you may need to compensate for the third nap being dropped by bringing bedtime forward temporarily to help your little one adjust through the transition. Tip number two, practice, practice, practice. During your baby's awake time throughout the day, provide plenty of opportunities to master their new crawling and standing skills. The more they practice during the day, the quicker they will master the skill as well as have less chance of trying to practice these skills in the middle of the night when they should be sleeping. Emma Hubbard is a pediatric occupational therapist and has an excellent video on the safest, most effective way to teach your baby to stand. I've included a link to this video in the description below. Emma also has an excellent video on how to help your baby crawl with seven tips. The link to this video is also included in the description. Tip number three, increase calories during the day. If you're not already giving your little one three meals a day, this is the time to change to three meals to ensure that they are getting sufficient calories to keep up with their growth and development. Once your little one starts getting closer to 10 months, you may then need to introduce more snacks to help sustain them for longer. 
Tip number four, keep a consistent bedtime routine. Babies thrive in consistent and predictable schedules. Maintain your baby's consistent bedtime routine doing the same activities in the same order every single day. The consistent bedtime routine will prepare your little one for sleep. We know that consistent routines help the falling asleep process and it reduces the chances of waking at night. Please know that this sleep regression, disturbing your little one's sleep is completely normal and it's a temporary developmental leap so that you will get through this regression with consistency and patience. If you're looking for more information on sleep regressions and want to know what's coming, you can access our free sleep regressions PDF download covering all sleep regressions right up to two years of age. You can also watch this next video on ideal bedtime routines to help you maintain a consistent bedtime routine for your little one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.